Welcome back, and today we're going to talk about why retire in the Philippines. I did a segment on that like a week or so ago, and people asked me, could you do more? I'm like, oh, okay. Well, first of all, before I came to the Philippines, they said that the Philippines was very dangerous. One guy, when I was working out at the Holiday Health Spa in Tustin, California, he said, no, don't go to the Philippines because a guy went to the Philippines and he died. Well, people die and, you know, it happens. That's life and death. But he said, don't go to the Philippines because my friend died in the Philippines. Well, I've been here like 11 years almost and, you know, still kicking. So it doesn't matter you could die anywhere you can die in your home you can die in the hospital i had a friend who died in the waiting room to get his exam so you never know what's gonna happen that way when i came to the philippines the first thing i noticed was people were friendly they were friendly the people in the philippines are probably Probably the most friendliest people on the earth. Is that a bad place to go where people are friendly? They're not like warring like the Hawaiians, the Polynesians. They want to kill you. But in the Philippines, the people are pretty cool. When I had my construction business in the United States, I had a post office box. I went ahead and I did all my business from my post office box. And every day I would go get my mail. I had lots of mail, hopefully some money too. And I would see like the same people coming in, going to the post office, to the post office box. And a lot of these people were really grumpy. Oh, this one old lady kept pushing me and hitting me. And I say, excuse me, ma'am, but could you be like a little more friendly? And she said, no, I don't like you. I don't like anybody. And I thought, wow, this is really crazy. Even my neighbors, I had a neighbor across the street. His name was Spike. He's passed away, rest in peace. He had an empty trash can. And I asked if I could like put something in his trash can. And he said, no, you cannot put anything in my trash can. It's my trash cannon. My trash cannon. No. And I thought, God, I'm just not happy here. You know, like the people here are just not, un they're pretty uncool. And in the Philippines, it's quite the opposite. The people are very friendly and very nice. Sometimes you just want to say, like, go away, I don't want to talk to you. Don't be so friendly. But it's really nice that the Philippines has such a friendly people. It's really nice. You never feel alone. Why? Because people always want to know, like, what's going on? What's your business? And sometimes it's nice to be a little private, too. But in the Philippines, there's no such thing as privacy with all the unrest in the world today it's kind of nice to live in a place where people are friendly and it's nice to live in a land that's very beautiful and the government is good and there's not a lot of craziness i know in my home country of america there's been lots of riots and unrest political scams there's lots of crazy stuff going on. One of the best things about retiring in the Philippines is the cost of living. The cost of living is so much lower in the Philippines. It's really great. And it's just really good. People can get their retirement, come to the Philippines, and live a quality life. I have a friend named Joe, and he just said his ex-wife was so angry at him because he has such a good life, he has such a nice home. And in America, he would live almost like a squatter. And in the Philippines, he lives like a king. People also like the warm weather. The warm weather, it's really warm in the Philippines. We are just like 10 degrees 
north of the equator. So what does that all mean? It means that it's really warm in the Philippines. It's actually the off season right now. It's the rainy season and it's still warm. It's like 75 degrees and it's really cold. <laughs> also with the advent of the internet with Facebook and other social medias, Living in the Philippines, you're close to people back home. Why? Because everyone is connected and the world is very small. Also, living in the Philippines, we must talk about something that guys always like. It's the food. The food. You like that? This is not food. It's coconuts. I hope I don't make any of my great Filipino friends mad at me, but I'm just not into the food. I like my Mexican and Italian food. So how do I survive in the Philippines? Well, a lot of Philippine people, they like Italian food, not so much Mexican, but I make my own Mexican food. I make my own burritos and tacos. I eat Mexican food almost every night. Last night, I ate two pieces of pizza. They sold pizza at this mall, so I bought pizza to go. So they have pizza on the island, and there's lots of, there's a Shakey's Pizza from California. I was in Manila, and they had a Domino's Pizza. It was exactly like the Domino's in the States. It was wonderful. Did you know that the Philippines has over 7,000 islands? That's 7,000 islands. There's a lot of exploring to do in the Philippines. If you're not boring and you like to ride motorcycles, they have really good motorcycle riding areas. Lots of riding, lots of motorcycles. Philippines is a pretty cool place, but the travel is really neat. They have lots of traveling. I think I'm gonna start blogging all over. So when we can travel a little bit, which I think is pretty soon, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see some pretty cool places and we're gonna do some traveling. <laughs> Since the Philippines is in Asia, it's close to lots and lots of countries. There's some really cool countries close to the Philippines you can explore and fly to, even if it's for a weekend, for like two days or three days. Just check out different places. It's really cool. Asia is a pretty cool place, by the way. Living in the Philippines and retiring is really awesome. So if you're thinking about it or if you're disgruntled living in America or Europe, think about the Philippines. It's really immigration friendly. It's really a great place. The people are friendly. It's amazing. I really love this place. I love this country and I love my home country too. I love two countries. So I have more videos up here of the Philippines and subscribe if you like the content of this channel and I know you like the content of this channel. So thank you so much for watching the Philippines and retirement. Retire here, it's pretty cool. And if you don't, I'm gonna still enjoy retiring in the Philippines. So please like, share, subscribe, and always ring that bell.